I mean, a lot of you here have said you've had long-term relationships. Um, you've also had periods where you're single. Mm -hmm. Are you more happy being single and getting passed around by a bunch of guys? Oh, okay. Or, <laughs> or are you more, or are you happier in a relationship with Not someone that cares and loves you, cares about you and loves you? I want love. I okay. think it now depends on your age because I think that when I was younger, I was like, I don't care. I'm going to date whoever and yeah. do whatever. Yeah, and now I like, I'm 28. I'm like, okay, it's time for me to figure my shit out. You know? Yeah. My eggs are getting Everything. old. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. You're, you're dropping some bombs here. Um, some pure gold Menosphere daily highlights is going to... Um, <laughs> can you repeat what you just said? What part? <laughs> about, about when you were younger versus compared to now at 28. Yeah, when I was younger, I guess um, I'd go and date and wouldn't really care and just it was whatever dating was dating and now as i'm getting older i'm kind of like more serious about it and i'm yep. like looking for more than just hookups and things like that I agree. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's interesting that's interesting um so anyway uh do you want to answer the original question that i asked them i'm sorry what was the original question? yeah so you you said that well, women can do that too. Mm -hmm. Women, we can lower ourselves to the the dogness of men just running through chicks. We can do that shit too. Yeah. But do you want to is the question. You can do it, but does it make you happy? Personally, not me. Okay. Not, not me. I've, I've done that. Like she said, when you're young, I've, I've done that. Mm -hmm. And then they want more. And then I'm like, nope, I put you in a friend zone. That's where you're saying you're not crossing that line. I, I'm looking for somebody else to be more than just their friend. Wait, you put them in the friend zone? Hell yeah. <laughs> but I'm talking about like hooking zone. up. Yeah, the fuck the fu zone. Oh, the fuck zone. The fuck zone. Okay, the yeah, yeah. Zone. Okay. If I'm just, if you're my fuck buddy, you're gonna stay the fuck buddy. You're not gonna be my man. Like, no, you're a fuck buddy. That's it. Okay. Ginny, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm paying attention, but I just Would you rather process. Be you? <laughs> was it ran through or ran through. <laughs> or with somebody who you love well i feel like that goes into me in my healing stage i feel like i'm not really looking for anybody right now i would love to have someone who i can love and like you know but if she i don't care the streets. <laughs> um but if i don't care i don't care like you know okay i don't care about you what about you um, I feel like I, it sounds so good to be all in love and oh yes, definitely want to be with that one person. But once you pour all your love into that cup and say you don't get it back, you're going to be just as mad as you were when you was fucking on this person and this person. Like, ugh, I don't know. It's a lose-lose situation. No, I'm just kidding. I guess somebody that you, that you love. I don't know. Because I don't know. It just ends up getting your feelings hurt at the end. True. I guess it doesn't always have to end up that way. <laughs> Next can hurt question. their feelings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. Anybody else on this, uh, on this side? Anybody? I really prefer a stable, healthy relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Word. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Boy. All right. Let me get these super chats here. We got Crispy Kim. Thank you for the $10 super chat, man. Appreciate it. Men that ask you to be their girlfriend first are typically men that have a scarcity mindset when it comes to their dating strategy. A man with an abundance of women will be in no rush for commitment. Mm -hmm. Good point, Crispy Kim. And then we have Red Misfit with the $10 soup chat. I gotta be honest, as a guy, I only find 10 to 15% of women I encounter to be attractive on a daily basis, sorry. Mm -hmm. So it's not just you ladies, it's us men too. Mm -hmm. Well, Red Misfit, I do have to come in here. You are a bit of an outlier on this because they, they've done studies on this. They've analyzed the data from the dating apps. Men rate women on a bell curve, whereas women are very harsh grades of men's physical attractiveness. I think it's something like women find 80% of men or women categorize 80% of men as unattractive, whereas men put women at about the, like 50% of women are at about the average, right? Um, so it's very different. Uh, honestly, like here in, I mean, of the girls I see walking around in Isla Vista, I would say like 80, 90% of them are physically attractive. So actually we can talk about that a little bit. So do you think it's 
harder for men to be physically attractive or is it harder for women to be physically attractive? Men. Okay, here, let's start with Paisley. Or actually, no, let's start with you and then we'll go around this way. Go ahead. Um, I think it really just depends. I mean, sometimes, so, I mean, some men are just like, just naturally like rolling out of bed, just beautiful. And some men have to kind of brush their hair straight. Generally, their hair, generally, generally speaking, generally speaking. Yeah, so... Uh, generally speaking, I'd say women have to put in more effort. Do they? They don't have to, but they do. Yeah. Do well, they, they don't. Better. Yeah. Well, they don't have to, but most of the time they do. Yes. Okay. So I feel like, yeah. What was I? What? Hmm. I was watching something the other day, and they were talking about how. Um, wow, that was real bad. I lost my train of thought. Women. <laughs> what was it? What are we talking about? Don't look at me. Is it harder for men to be attractive? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I guess I'll just move on. Um, <laughs> men don't have as many options to to look better. Mm. Okay. Jenny. Um, I would said women would spend more time on getting ready than guys okay. do. Yeah. Okay. Women for sure. Harder for women to be physically attractive. Yeah. Yes, because yes. we have, like she said, a lot of different avenues we can go. Okay. We got to shave. So you said harder for men. I, I think it's harder for men. Okay. What about you? I will say for women, it's even harder to them for a man. Okay. I think it's harder for men, but because, you know, I think I heard something about, you know, some guy was saying, well, all I can do is cut my hair, like, Women can go put their eyelashes on and do their makeup and do all this to make themselves look better. And I just got my hair. <laughs> but I feel like also if you think about it, like women doing all this stuff to, whoa, what the fuck? Wait, they just what? lost their train of thought again. It's crazy. Did, did you smoke weed before that? Duh. <laughs> I'm a bud tender. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked literally right before we started and I can, Yeah. I'm pretty good. Oh, no, I never can keep my train of thought. It's like, I got to say it now or I forgot. I got ADHD. <laughs> there oh. you go. Real bad. <laughs> Real ADHD over here. <laughs> hey, we'll have you guys continue on with this. Eric, in the uh, podcast folder uh, in Dropbox, if you go to podcast infographics, there's three that are called <laughs> OKC, OKC1, and OKC2. Um, if you can pull all of those up in a tab on the other side. Um, did you get to answer the question? Yeah, I think so. Paisley, did you answer? Harder, would, harder for men or women to be physically attractive? I would say men, because you're kind of out of luck. Like, you don't have many. You can cut your hair, you can shave, you can not shave. But other than that, like, you're screwed. Oh, I got it. I got it. So with women, they're always like, oh, her stomach's too thick or she got too much makeup on, like always pressing their looks. But for a girl, they're like, oh, I like me a chubby nigga or st stuff like that. Like your imperfections are making you cuter where like a woman is really going to try her hardest to cover that up. And you're still going to be like, oh, well, you put on too much makeup. Does that work with what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. I think that women what? try really hard to be a specific man's type. Right, too. I guess. Yes. Whereas men are like, they're going to be whoever they are. And they Wait, women book. women try really hard to be a specific men's type? No, I mean, specific, with BPD I, do that. Specific man. Like, if you're interested in a man, like, a lot of times women are like, okay, I like this dude. Oh, but he's like, he likes girls that do this. Or mm. I think that's like borderline this. personality disorder. <laughs> it's but, all, like, in your head. I don't... A female. I, I think... I mean, I think it's actually men that shift who they are to adhere to women's standards than the reverse so you're saying women change because because if you ask women do you wear makeup for men or for yourself they gonna say for themselves. what's yeah. the answer ladies for themselves, but for if me. you look right now Stop there the are a lot of women that have plastic surgery because That's some look just like me then all of a sudden now they got a booty they got breasts like and right now if you look everybody's going to this voluptuous type instead of just being who they are where a man doesn't have that option it's just either you take me as i am or just fuck off and go somewhere else they can work in the gym I correct they can work in a gym like gym, it's just, there's, there's i mean i've seen some guys with some muscle implants <laughs> that looks so <laughs> yeah, bad <that's> <laughs> well that that has a, that's an interesting point because i would say 
to be fair, I guess it's not as widespread. Like muscle implants and shit is not as widespread as like fake breasts or mm -hmm. fake lips, for example. But I would say uh, women with plastic surgery is much better tolerated by men than men who have plastic surgery is tolerated by women. Like if a dude had fucking calf implants, you'd be like fucking clowning on this guy. <laughs> you'd be like, you're like, you'd, you'd think he's a joke, you know? Whereas to be fair, if a girl has a BBL, <laughs> I'm not a fan, just gonna say. But you're not a fan, but other men are. Chat, BBL, yes or no? BBL, yes or no? I, honestly, I think there are some goofball men that are like, well, the bigger the better, no matter what. But like, it looks fucking goofy. It looks, I think it looks bad. It depends. The BBL. Depends? No, there's no such thing as a good looking <laughs> BBL. They're all terrible. Trust. If the thighs match, shit, yeah. can it wiggle? <laughs> what? I mean, what you working with? <laughs> it just, it's just, first off, it's, da it's dangerous as fuck. Everything's dangerous. BBLs. It's like one of the most dangerous plastic surgeries that you can get. But yet they still do it. Because they're but stupid. But nobody's talking about it. Like a handful will come out and say, yes, they're dangerous, but everybody else is making it glamorous right now. They shouldn't, though. But they do. Because it's, I mean. If you go to LA, you see. If you go to Miami, you see. If you go to Houston, like the major cities. Good thing we're not in Miami. Strip clubs. Like you, you see, like you see it. It's a norm. And they expect the average woman to look like that. The men or? The men. Nah. Chat, what, what is Chapin saying? Chat, yes or no for the BBLs? Yeah, so here, let me, well, we got Dave on Jackson. They, well, I'll pull it up in just a <laughs> sec. But uh, on it, and with the other plastics, anyone here have plastic surgery? No, sh I, won't, I won't shame you. Anyone? Fake lips, I fake I only tits. have my lips done. You have your lips done. Yeah. Anybody else? I want to get plastic surgery. You want to get plastic surgery? I want to down. Get, I feel like You're down? I had the yeah. choice. Do you, do you have any? No. Anybody? No. Else? Nothing? Lips? And my eyebrows tatted. Okay. Fake tits, anybody? And Botox. No? Okay. And Botox. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fuck. I, don't do it, Ginny. I won't. Don't do it. I think if I had the money, I'd feel like do, I would like the option to be able to do it. Don't do it. But trust, do it. trust me. Maybe and my eyelash like, extensions. Why not? Okay, that's like, the last why not? one. Yes. Why not do plastic surgery? Yeah, it's... If you do it just for yourself, you want to be, you want to You're not better. doing it just for yourself. I agree you with cool. you. I agree with you. You're, you're the first man that's actually said that. Because most people really? say they're, no, seriously. Okay, well, but go elaborate a little bit. What do you mean elaborate on? Because most what? men don't say that, like, a woman's doing it for her. She's not doing it for her self-esteem. She's doing it because I have the money. I want to look good. Like, that's what I normally hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the men sit there and like, oh yeah, she's doing it because she wants to look good or whatever. But I really feel like it's a self-esteem issue. Mm -hmm. Because yes, we're, yeah. if it was not a self-esteem issue, you wouldn't get it. Like there was a time where you looked just like me or look like yourself or like you, like, but now you're trying to look like everybody else in a magazine. It's like, so I yeah. just feel like a self-esteem issue and men are not, they're not saying it. They're not speaking up about it right now. Good point. <laughs> 